the Taj Mahal Hotel was India's first luxury hotel. It was and remains a symbol of excellence, of royalty and of exacting standards. Taj Mahal Palace Hotel has been a part of Mumbai's story and skyline for nearly 116 years. One evening, Jam Tatu accompanied his foreign guest to a hotel in South Bombay. He was told at the entrance that while his guest was permitted, he could not enter the hotel as an Indian. Enraged. He vowed to build his own hotel, so luxurious and superlative in standards that others would pale into insignificance. To match international standards. On the 1st of November 1889, he bought the lease of two and a half acres of reclaimed land near the harbour. The construction began in 1900. Drawings were signed by Rosa Heb Sitarim Kedaravadya and his assistant, Dian Mirza. After Vadia's death in 1900, W.A. Chambers completed the project. All of them had worked with Frederick William Stevens, an English architectural engineer who was the mastermind behind the designs of the Victoria Terminus and the Municipal Corporation Building, landmark locations in Bombay's multi-century heritage. Construction was completed in 1903, at a cost of £250,000 and the Taj Mahal Hotel opened its doors to the first guests on the 16th of December 1903, 21 years before the Gateway of India was built. Jamsat Ji went all over the world to shop for his dream hotel, electrical machinery from Dusseldorf, chandeliers from Berlin, fans from USA, and the first spun steel pillars from the Paris exhibition, where the Eiffel Tower had been constructed only in the previous decade. Other firsts at the Taj included American fans, German elevators, chandelier polishing machines, Turkish baths and English butlers. Eventually, it had Bombay's first ever licensed bar, the Harbour Bar, India's first all-day dining restaurant, its first 24-hour coffee shop, and the first international discotheque. The hotel boasted of its own power plant with electricity and a carbon dioxide gas ice machine plant that provided refrigeration and helped cool the sweets. These were among the very first anywhere in India. When Jamsat Ji breathed his last the subsequent year in Europe, the Daj, literally meaning crown, had begun its journey of shining as a jewel in Bombay's firmament. was the first building in Bombay to be electrified with its own power plant. It had its own four lifts, steam-powered laundry, aerated bottling plant, mechanical dishwasher, telegraph service, post office, burnishing machine for silver and a Turkish bath. A gas-operated ice machine provided refrigeration and helped to cool the sweets. Later it was Bombay's first licensed bar, the first discotheque and the first restaurant to remain open for 24 hours a day. It had both in-house doctor as well as chemist.
became the first choice of Maharajas across India and royalty and heads of state from across the world whenever they visited Bombay. It also got converted into a 600-bed hospital during the First World War. In November 1933, the Harbour Bar at Taj was India's first air-conditioned bar. Interestingly, it was the first bar in Bombay and had license number one. By 1970, J.R.D. made Mr. Ajit Kubarao Kirka the managing director of Indian hotels. Kirka expanded IHCL's footprint from a single hotel to many dozens across India. The first addition was the Taj Mahal Tower, constructed just next to the main hotel in 1972. the fifth best hotel in the world in the early 80s. Taj Mahal Palace Hotel was attacked on Wednesday, 26th of November, 2008 in a series of terrorist attacks in Mumbai. On the 15th of August 2010, India's Independence Day, the Taj Mahal Palace was reopened after restoration. Hotel had become a social and a political center. It has hosted many events for famous personalities. Banquets for King George V and Queen Mary were held here twice. Edward, Prince of Wales visited here. May other notable personalities who visited Daj Palace were Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Maharajas and princes and royal figures from many states. Bill Clinton, Oprah Winfrey, the King and Queen of Norway, the Duke and Duchess of Kent, Roger Moore, the Duke of Edinburgh, Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, Hillary Clinton, Michelle Obama, Barack Obama as well as many other personalities. Five rooms and suites are a striking blend of nostalgic elegance, rich history and modern facilities. Strategically located in Mumbai's prime historical and commercial hub, the Taj Mahal Palace is walking distance from Kolaba Causeway, known for its touristy tiny roadside shops. The city's financial hub, parliament, stadium, 
offices and shopping districts are all located within close proximity, as is a flourishing art and heritage precinct with must-visit museums, art galleries, churches and synagogues. For those who would like to experience fine dining in style, host nine of the city's most acclaimed restaurants and bars, renowned for delectable cuisines from India, Europe, the Middle East and the Orient. Relish authentic Indian cuisine and masala craft, world famous Japanese dishes at wasabi by Morimoto, exquisite Eastern Mediterranean food at Sukhan Chinese at Golden Dragon. Dine all day at Shamiana. Refreshing meal at Aquarius, the poolside restaurant, and the stylish harbor bar. Mumbai's original luxury hotel has 11 newly refurbished halls and venues. The ballroom, spacious enough for 450 guests. Thanks for watching.